Hi, this is Ty. Today I'll show you how to create a bold and striking poster using this cool effect. I often get asked about canvas size, so let me start with that. The posters I usually share on Instagram and TikTok are designed at B2 size, which is 728 by 515 millimeters. First, place the image that includes the object you want to apply lighting to. Since I want to create a darker atmosphere, I will add a color lookup adjustment layer and choose the moonlight preset. Now it looks like a night scene. If it feels a bit too dark, reduce the fill of the adjustment layer slightly to balance the brightness. Next, add the elements you want to make glow, such as text, symbols, or shapes. For example, use the horizontal type tool to type some text, or use the shape tool to draw circles or lines. Once everything is in place, now hold down the command key on Mac or control key on Windows and click the thumbnail of the layer you want to glow. This will create a selection. You can delete that layer after the selection is made. Then add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and increase the brightness to the maximum. Click on the layer mask and use the properties panel to increase the feather. This will make the glow appear soft and natural. Duplicate this adjustment layer by pressing Command J or Control J. Select the mask of the duplicated layer and increase the feather even more. If the light looks too strong, just reduce the fill to adjust the intensity. Repeat this process two or three times to build a more realistic glow effect. Next, let's adjust the darker areas of the original image. Select the mask of the adjustment layer you created, then choose the brush tool. Make sure the brush color is set to black. When you paint with black on a mask, it hides the effect in that area. Also, check that the opacity is set to 50%. And confirm that you're using a soft brush. Now gently brush over the darker parts to slightly reduce the effect. This will help keep the overall image looking natural. Now the object looks like it is glowing, but we can take it a step further to make it more impactful. Add a gradient map adjustment layer. I use gradient presets from a site called Resource Boy, where you can download stylish free gradients. You can find the link in the description below. I wanted to bring strong light to the inside, so I created a gradient that concentrates the brightness on the right side. A gradient map replaces the brightness levels of your image with the colors you choose. The dark areas take the color on the left side of the gradient. The bright areas take the color on the right, and everything in between smoothly blends those colors. If you want to adjust the color, simply add a hue and saturation or color balance adjustment layer to tweak the tones. From the properties panel, you can adjust the hue to change the color to whatever you like. I chose my favorite shade of red. That completes the glowing effect. Now let's move on to the poster layout. I usually draw a rectangle on the right side using the rectangle tool. Inside that box, I add my name, the poster number, title, date, and sometimes a favorite phrase. The layout changes slightly with each poster, depending on the mood. For assets, I often use sites like FreePick and Vecteasy. You can find the links in the video description. Finally, I will explain how to add depth and dimension to your assets. First, place the asset where you want to add it. Then set the fill of the layer to 0%. This makes the layer content invisible while keeping the layer effects visible. Next, double click on the right side of the assets layer. This will open a new window like this. Add bevel and emboss. Now let's start adjusting the bevel and emboss settings. First, set the style to inner bevel. This adds depth to the inside of the layer. Next, set the technique to smooth. This softens the edges and gives a natural shadow effect. I've set the depth to 4629%, but feel free to adjust it as you like. Increasing the value makes the edges more defined and the depth stronger. Set the direction to down. This simulates light coming from above. Next, set the size to 6 pixels. This controls the spread of the 3D effect. Leave the soften value at 0 pixels. Lower values keep the effect sharp and clean. Now move on to the shading section below. Set the angle to 90 degrees. Make sure use global light is checked. This makes the light come from the side. Set the altitude to 30 degrees. This controls how high the light source is, affecting the shadow. You can leave the gloss contour as the default setting. This controls how highlights reflect on the surface. Finally, let's adjust the highlight and shadow modes. Set the highlight mode to screen and choose white as the color. 
set the opacity to 50%, set the shadow mode to multiply, and choose black as the color. Set the opacity to 50% as well. And with that, design is complete. How was it? Pretty easy, right? Subscribe for more creative tutorials. You'll find me on Instagram and TikTok, and my posters are available for purchase too. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next week.